I've been thinking about whether or not we actually live in a democracy or if we live in a sort of dictatorship of the DNC and RNC. Because think about it, um, if you have a certain belief system, um, like you're for gay marriage, I'm for gay marriage. Suddenly, um, you are now officially voting for the DNC because, uh, like, did you choose Joe Biden? Chances are you didn't. Um, the early stu states chose Pete Buttigieg because for some reason it's a good thing if you're a gay Christian, but they're like, oh, great, people will vote for him because he's a Christian. Okay, he, he meets that requirement, but he's also gay. Uh, okay, well, that's that's fine. We're, de we're Democrats, so we think it's a good thing if you're gay. Um, even if your belief system contradicts itself, the DNC has contradic contradictory beliefs. They're super for the environment, but they're super against war. The RNC has contradictory beliefs because they're super Christian, which is the most peaceful pacifist religion of all time, but then they're super for war and they're against abortion, but they're for the death penalty. And then, okay, but the DNC is, is not for the death penalty. And man, if you're, if you're mentally ill, the last thing you are ever going to have is you die. So, um, the secret to not getting the death penalty is being mentally ill because we can't kill someone who's mentally ill and a murderer at the same time. Um, but okay. So what I'm trying to say is, um, everyone's got con conflicting beliefs, but you pretty much have one choice. And I'm, when I, when I say you, I say me, me too. I, I have to choose Joe Biden, right? But what do I know about Joe Biden? It's that he's going to protect this this dictatorship, which is a, a, a group of people, it's not that huge of a group of people, but it's a it's a pretty decent group of people. It's like, uh, I don't know how many people are involved that will murder people and frame people and set people up to get get them put in jail and set people get to get up get put in prison, set people up to get put in prison, and they will they have um, completely thrown out the legal system in secret. Like in, in, as long as it's a secret, they'll break the law um, because because they've actually thrown out the constitution in secret because they've all agreed that they can do it. And they have to make sure they continue to get elected in order to make sure that they can continue breaking the law secretly. Because if they, if one of these two groups, the DNC or the RNC, were to lose and then someone were to come in and actually see what the law is, because there's secret law in the United States. The surveillance laws are secret. Americans aren't allowed to know that, that the government can intercept, intercept your communications legally. They're, they're legally allowed to intercept your communications and change what you're seeing. So you're, you're thinking you're having a conversation you're having with someone, if you're not having it because they're, they're taking out parts of the conversation. They're, they're legally allowed to do that. We're com the, the, the American media is complaining about China doing it. The American government d did it. And when we're talking about the American government, who are we talking about? A lot of the time we're talking about the American military. You all have to understand, this is a group of people that a lot of them have military backgrounds, kind of like the people that tried to cut... Co Kidnap the governor who just turned out, who happened to turn out to be Marines, which surprised me. All right, so um, here's what I know for sure is the government murdered and framed Mark Condit for the Austin bombings. And after I contacted the media about it, um, suddenly the police are retaliating against me. Suddenly, or suddenly this guy's faking like he's drawing a gun on me and threatening me in my own house while, while I'm quarantining. He's threatening me while I'm sitting on my back porch. And suddenly I'm in jail where they're like, where it's like a very serious situation where I could get COVID-19 and like, and, and, and suddenly my gun is gone and it's, it's like, they're trying to get me killed. And I, I'm, I, and I know that people are going, ha ha, but I'm telling you, like who, who is the most likely person to kill me? Like these people, like these, these guys that tried to kidnap governor Whitmer because, um, do people in the military know about me? Do people in the intelligence community know about me? Do people that are in the know in the drug business know about me? Yeah. So all I'm saying is like, there's a reason I have a gun. It's because I'm not allowed to get kidnapped because I might, because I know too much, but all right. So Joe Biden will make sure that these people can continue. Well, they wouldn't continue blackmailing the president because he'd be the president then, but he would make sure the government's protected. They'll never get caught for murdering and framing Mark Condit for the Austin bombings and then lying to the media about it. Someone lied to the media and said, oh, Mark knows all about how to make bombs. He, we used to talk about it all the time. He had no idea how, how to make bombs. The guy I caught, the, the actual Austin bomber, knew how to make bombs. He was an explosives expert. He worked for an oil and gas company. He is the one that wanted to start a civil war, kind of like these guys in Michigan that were trying to kidnap, kidnap the governor. 
So um, the government, because they spy on people so much, because they're storing so many conversations on the server, like everything I've ever done, I promise, they have it on a server. Every word I've ever said, they have it on a server. Uh, and it's not just me, it's a lot of people. Not every word I've ever said, but every um, word I've ever said after a certain age, or every, every word I've said while they, could, while they were hacking me. Because sometimes they couldn't hack me. But if, I, if, if, they had, if they had access to my computer, access to my phone, every word I've ever said, the government has stored on a server somewhere. And that's what they do to a lot of people because you're, um, um, what are you, a, 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 a agent of a foreign power. That's what they'll say about you even though, well, my, my, my parents are fifth generation Texans. No, trust me, you're an agent of a foreign power because you have a relation, because you actually know this guy that's from Mexico who's a drug dealer. You went to school with him or something. So when you guys hear about the American government and you're like, oh, the American government's the best. I'm voting for Joe Biden because I pledge allegiance to Joe Biden. I really chose Joe Biden. Trust me, we have a democracy. Um, what you need to know is the government is the government off the Atlas Shrugged. And what that means is the government will do whatever they have to do to win, to con control their, um, well, I guess, I, I mean, I know everyone, that, that she, Ayn Rand was commenting on, I think socialism or on, on communism, how like they're trying to make everyone the same and they're, and they're trying to make sure the government owns all the technology and everything like that. And I don't, I don't think the government needs to own every, all the technology, but I'm talking about like the tendency to murder to protect themselves. Like all I'm talking about, like you guys think these people are good, but that's because they, they will never get caught for the stuff they do. They're not good. The government is bad, and I'm talking about the military. They're bad people. Like, they're, they're, they're like, they tend to be, they, they like, at this point, maybe they started off as good people, now they're bad people. There's something about, like, maybe, maybe it's the murdering that gets into your soul, but I think it's more like the control, it's the dominance, it's the, it's the being, like, who, who is the man in charge? And, and I think some people take that for granted, and so, what I'm saying is, um, the D, both the DNC and the RNC are the same guy. And so if you have one choice because I am for gay marriage, so suddenly this is my choice, um, um, you have to choose the DNC, even if the DNC is secretly a psychopath. But hey, uh, I'm sure the DNC is really good because they're going to kiss your ass and tell you what you want to hear. And they're going to say very political stuff to you. But really, dude, all I'm saying is all these Congress people know about me and you know what they're doing? Protecting the DNC because they're, they're all about the political party. They're going to sit there making, they're going to post talking points on, on Twitter all day. And that's why I have to unfollow them because they're so boring because they all to say the exact same thing every single day.